Welcome back, guys, to Factorio Meiosis. This is episode number 47. Today, we are going to cross the pond, and we're going to set up uh, three individual cells to mine up basically all the things. We're going to mine up uh, the coal, the iron, and the copper all over here, all these guys. And instead of making a whole bunch of small cells that each would have their own stop, I'm just going to set up one cell for each ore type. So we'll have, like, one big guy for copper, one big guy for coal, and one big guy for iron. And then we'll just try to mine them all up and send them um, over into one stop so that we can consolidate. Means I will have to reroute trains less often. There are a number of small ore patches. Don't run into the pipe there. There's a lot of small ore patches. This guy right here is pretty big. This guy's pretty big. But we've got a lot of these kind of medium to small ones. So we're going to make um, a copper cell maybe here. And then a coal cell maybe here. And then an iron cell maybe here. And then the iron cell, for instance, will just connect these guys with belts. These little ones. Similar to how we started doing here. Because uh, just because of the, the amount of size that the, the train stops take up, it's hard to fit them all in. And it's just going to be simpler this way in the long run. I thought about... Um, creating a super smelting cell, but I think we're going to hold off on that, at least for now. I think this is going to be, uh, oh, I keep running over things, but my inventory's full. I think this is going to be good enough for, for now to, like, get us through, um, until episode 50 or so, or, or whatever. And we are kind of close to that milestone of 20 million, uh, electronic circuits. You guys let me know in the comments that that is actually, that is account-wide, but we need to finish it within meiosis because my next series is going to involve a mod and you can't get achievements while you're playing with mods so uh, we need to get that now or i want to get that now we don't need to we don't need to do anything just do nothing we can okay uh anyway i did bring over some supplies and i left them in a little chest oh i think it might be this spot right here let's go check or that's a power line oh yeah here we go Okay, so I've got a bunch of belts, a bunch of rails, a bunch of drills, a bunch of smelters, a whole bunch of other random stuff. Well, I've done two supply runs for belts and, well, for all the different pieces that we're using to construct all these things. I've got the copper guy mostly set up. He's got enough smelting there to more or less uh, fill up eight lanes of express belt. And we've got two outputs there because the trains are going to be coming from a long way. So uh, I want the chest to have a good enough time to fill up. And right now I just have these two guys wired up. We need to really get a coal train going. So that we can up our plastic production, which is pretty low at the moment. It's basically our main bottleneck. We're making, um, oh, okay, let's, let's stop before we look at Mr. Production. It says we're making 5,000 a minute. Yeah, but I think um, we should be making way more than that. And uh, I have been, uh, every time I go back on a supply run, I just kind of check it out and it... A train shows up with a little bit of coal, and it uses up real quick, and then it's gone, and there's nothing left. Uh, so let's head up there. I haven't set up the iron one yet. We've got a number of different ore patches here. Here's the coal guy up here. I've got to put in a radar, so let's remember to do that. There is one train going from our coal cell 1 to the plastic cell, so we're going to repurpose him. In fact, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and grab him. So he's currently from plastic cell, coal cell to plastic cell, this guy. Okay, so we want you to go to coal cell two. I think I renamed it. Yeah, go to coal cell two, inventory. And since you will have come a pretty long way to get over here, let's up the time to uh, 40 seconds. I don't know, we'll have to play by ear, see how well that does. We're gonna make a duplicate cell as well. A duplicate cell as well. And then we can junk that one. So he's gonna come over here. 
And hopefully we should have it up and ready, operational, by the time he gets all the way over here. He will be the only train, as far as I know of, that should really be coming all the way over here. It takes a long time to drive through this base, by the way. I think next episode, or in at least one upcoming episode, uh, I'm going to do like a base tour where more or less I just drive from one side of my base to the other in an unbroken, unedited segment to give you guys an idea of the scale, how big this thing is, and how long it takes to get from A to B. Because I think uh, mostly I kind of cut out the travel time, and I'm just at a spot, and you see me working on it, and it kind of... The distances involved maybe don't quite sink in. Now that we're developing way over here, yeah, so I'll probably start maybe up here and drive like that. Not absolutely all the way around. Okay, what are we doing here? Um, oh yeah, we need to connect those. Uh, do we need to limit these chests? No, because we're loading up with coal. We want all the coal we can possibly manage. I've got uh, four lanes coming from two separate coal patches. Let's turn off the pollution. Oh yeah, radar, right, radar. Uh, so we got this guy here coming over with four lanes. This guy over here and two little tiny ones. Doing their part, everybody contributing all together now. So four lanes there, they get balanced in an eight to eight there, then they come all the way down here. And uh, we're also going to need a refueler, like a local one for this side of the, of the base. And uh, yeah, this kind of thing annoys me. I should, I could really like reformat the way I do balancers to eliminate this kind of thing. If you want to eliminate this, the, your balancers get a bit bigger. It's not always necessary. It's kind of this kind of thing where uh, your belts were, you had some belts empty, now they need to fill up. Oh, here he comes. Okay, let's actually tell him to just stop there at the stop. And we need to set up another one. I did have... Dude, where's my car? Where did we leave the car? It's right there. Okay, and we need to put a radar down. Let's do the radar. Over on this side. There was probably one here. I had to move it to uh, get... To, to build stuff, that kind of thing. All right, lovely. You know, I think I... um Yeah, I slowed myself down. I've got two robo legs now. So that I could use more robo ports. Uh, so what are we gonna do? We need the train stuff. You can go ahead and go. And we'll try to stagger the trains, although they will probably get unstaggered as time goes by. There we go. We'll put this guy like right behind. And basically tell him the same thing. Going to the plastic cell. That is the main purpose of our coal for the moment. In the fullness of time, we'll have to also be sending coal to our uh, steam engine air, well, map. It's big. We'll have to send coal to our steam engine areas. In fact, this one's basically empty. This one has a while to go. And our third one here has been receiving coal from uh, our, He's he's been using a train for a while. So this guy will service that for a while. And uh, this thing will continue to fill up our refuelers and we'll just repurpose our plastic cell guy. Hopefully those are all connected. That one looks kind of wonky, doesn't it? Okay, so he's going to plastic. So make him nice and shiny and white like plastic is. Got some fuel. We're going to coal to time passed. 40 seconds, I guess. And then we're going to plastic cell coal until you're Inventory is empty. Actually, now that I'm having two running back to back, uh, the coal cell, here, let's go ahead and set those going. Uh, so the cell that, uh, you can kind of tell the order in which I built these cells because there's been a definite evolution in terms of refinement. Also, some of the older cells have become uh, very awkward because we expanded our rail system, had to do some really ugly stuff like that. In our plastic cell, here's where the coal train comes in, and there's no room for a second train. So if I uh, if I just have them sit there until their inventory is empty, they're gonna clog up stuff eventually. So instead of having them do that, we will have them unload for 30 seconds and then come back. Instead of waiting until their inventory is empty, we're gonna say time passed 30 seconds. We'll say or. There we go, yeah, that works. 
Either their inventory is empty and they can leave automatically, or they've been sitting there 30 seconds. And we can do the same thing to the other one. Okay, um... No, we want to change this one. Time passed. Change the condition to ore, and that should be good to go. Our production of plastic should uh, soon be rising. Where is it even? It's not even on our list because uh, I guess when I did observe it that one time, we were in a spike where a train had showed up. But now we should be delivering much more. Oh, this thing is more than full, huh? Okay, maybe, maybe um, 40 seconds too long. All right, let's just go with 30 since we have two anyway. Yes! Oh, finally! Produce 20 million electronic circuits. I've been doing miscellaneous crap for hours waiting for that to happen. Holy crap. Okay, seems like our plastic production has improved. And one of the things we're probably going to do next episode, I think, is we are going to completely demolish and rebuild our plastic cell and our blue circuit cell, in particular the blue circuit cell, is just a total mess. Uh, and they could both be better. And I think we could probably scale up our plastic cell now at this point in the game. In fact, yeah, we're producing a lot of stuff. We need more plastic because it's needed for the red circuits, which are needed for like everything. Okay, so uh, while I was waiting on that to happen, I was also waiting to get some, uh, some of these speed modules produced. Those are the last things I need to finish off the area over here. I have the, uh, the copper area done. It's not actually hooked up because we don't need this exactly right now. But we do have... Uh, we got the coal guy done over here. And then we've got the iron guy done. And did I leave trains set up? No, I don't think I did. But uh, it's all set up. We'll have to go set up the trains. And what we need to do next is we need to set up uh, a spot for the iron to get dropped off at our steel cell so that we can supplement our steel production, another one of our bottlenecks. All right, quickly, before more work, we're going to set up a new train station like we do every day, Pinky. Yeah, but first, let's launch a few rockets. Things have been sitting here for a while. Need to get things back into production. Let's launch 10 more, and uh, then we'll go about our day. This is just going to be like a little intermission. Rocket, rocket launching intermission. All right, so this is the steel cell area. This is where the, uh, the steel is being loaded, and we basically just need to have a uh, drop-off point next to it for iron plates that are going to come pre-smelted, not as ore. Otherwise, I guess we could just merge them onto these belts once they get dropped off. We're going to have to go over to the smelting area. So let's see, if we do something like this, here's our unloading station blueprint. Uh, it needs to be able to merge into this line here, obviously. So it, uh, I, normally I like to have them nice and parallel, but uh, what are you going to do? I guess I could rebuild this, but I'm not going to. Don't hassle me, okay? I suppose we could build it kind of like back here would be fine. Just give it a, a nice little bit of space. Well, another thing to consider is that uh, we want enough space for a second train, because I'm going to use two iron trains to bring iron over there. And in the future, if we really, like, scale up huge time, then I'll... I, we can we have room for another slot over here. But we need room for, like, a backup train to be here and to not get in the way of the steel loading trains. So maybe just something like um, this. Should be good. And I would like to reformat these so that we've got four belts leaving here. It'll be easier to split things into the uh, what we have over there. And I think we're going to be... We can probably, running two trains from that other area, have more than two belts full. So that would be a good idea. Okay, so robots are doing their thing. So let's hook this up to this guy. 
So as narrow as that'll go, we'll be like that. Okay, can we do it? Please work. Yes. Oh, that's very good. Perfection. Uh, I will actually move that one to there. Okay, good. Actually, uh, that can be... Why don't we make that a normal stop instead of... Why is that a chain stop? I think normal stop's fine. Okay, there we go. And then uh, since these two are going to be merging, we'll want one to, like, wait. There we go. Oh, I guess there was one right here. Ah, eh, whatever. It's fine. All right, well, the first iron train just showed up at the steel cell to drop off the uh, first load of belts. The second train's on its way. And hopefully we can keep these belts full. And this should help supplement this and maybe uh, as much as double this steel production. And uh, yeah, I guess once these iron guys run out, we will extend this to try to get as much steel as we can. Having uh, more than, well, this is, this is not enough. We need way more than that. We could probably double this and still need more. Uh, but I think that's going to help a lot. And it's going to be a few seconds before this catches up. Because it takes uh, five plates for each steel ingot. Okay, it looks like the belts have caught up. They're mostly compressed. And it looks like the density has increased quite a bit. In fact, yeah, I would say it just about doubled. Ah, that's pretty good. Uh, here's the second train unloading. And the first train hasn't even finished. Okay, time to blow off some steam. A lot of things added to the base today. A lot of throughput, a lot of miners, a lot of belts I placed down, a lot of furnaces and all that kind of stuff. Let's launch some rockets. Let's use up some of these resources. We're just mining out of the ground. Let's just blast them off into thin air. They probably don't even go anywhere. There's probably just a... Um, like some moon somewhere where all these rockets just land. There's a huge pile of them just sitting there doing nothing. So uh, to refresh, we did today. This is what we did in this episode. We did all that. All these guys. This guy, this guy, this guy. Um, and also add a little train stop. Oh my god, it's so noisy. It is so noisy. I, I do edit it down to a respectable level for YouTube. But uh, when I'm listening to it, it, I feel like I have to shout over it. I can't even hear myself think it's so loud. Oh, now, here we get the swarm of robots. 126 rockets shot off into the ether. Now, there is a mod that will let you uh, automatically launch these as soon as they're full. Uh, but there is still one more achievement I would like to get. We'll probably work on that next time. It's going to be kind of straightforward to get. We're going to supply ourselves with 10,000 items with our uh, logistic system. That will be simple. And once we do that, there will be no more achievements that we can achieve in this map. So uh, maybe I will add that mod. I'm not sure. Don't know if we really need it at this point. Maybe we will. I don't know. I haven't decided. All right. The robots are delivering. Do I need more robots? I thought I added a ton. And it looks like a ton. But... Uh, you can see that they're kind of not delivering to, to all 10 silos all at once. They're kind of doing it in phases of five. I might need twice as many robots, uh, which means I would probably need twice as many, or maybe I don't have enough robo ports. They're having trouble charging. Oh. Yeah, maybe I don't have enough robo ports. Could be a combination of the two. Maybe we will buff this place up uh, in a future episode. Maybe pretty it up a little bit. So that, uh, um, so, so that, um, what am I trying to say? So that it looks a little bit nicer with like some concrete underbelly or something. Some nice detailing, some aesthetics. All right, how far are you along? 91%. Next batch is ready. Last 10 for the video. This will put us up to uh, 136. Maybe I should launch four more after this off camera just so we we're set up to uh, an even 10 round off that number next episode i think we're going to be um trying to straighten out some of the kinks in our plastic and blue circuit areas oh my god it's so noisy i mean they are launching rockets off the planet so i guess maybe it should be noisy but man it is noisy i say that every time and maybe it's getting repetitive but it is incredibly loud all right there we go 10 more 
10 more rockets. That's the end of the episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you next time. See you later. Take it easy. Have a good day. Bye-bye.